In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an MP3 trigger board. If you haven't seen the how to use a relay board, go back and watch that video because uh, you're going to need to know that stuff before you jump into this. But I just wanted to talk about MP3 trigger boards. We've had several customers recently ask us how to sync up a music track with the camera motion. Um, and it all goes back to relays and then you also need a, a board to do that. Right for now, uh, it is in our plans this year to include audio tracks in CC Lab as a channel and then load them in that way. But for now, I just wanted to make sure that everybody's got a solution. So I'm not gonna go too deep. There's several boards that will do this. I'm gonna include links and diagrams on this page to uh, a few boards that we've had success with. So I'll show you how, how to connect them up and uh, everything you need to know on how to use those. Um, so let me show you this one real quick. This one's pretty simple. Um, you load your track on a micro, you, uh, micro SD card. Uh, you plug in your speakers and then you've got your, your, your triggers, your inputs to this board. So you would connect these I mean, you could do it with as few as one. I, I have several wires here because I wanted to trigger multiple tracks. But really, if you only have one track, you only need two wires, you connect those up to the switch side of your relay, and that is how you trigger uh, an MP3. In CC Lab, you add your channel, you uh, turn on the relay, and it connects the circuit, your track plays. And it'll play at the same time every time uh, in your CC lab timeline. 